I'm not sure if the town of Clearfield is big enough to contain the intensity and aggression we're about to see from our feature matchup, Steel Cage, pinfaller submission to win it, with two of the most physically opposing men in IWC history. And I hope that the Steel Cage was reinforced, because after the match we just saw, I'm not sure if this cage can contain these two men. Bolin has a rich history in IWC. He's been in and out for over a decade, but when he came back on the scene this past March, things were a little different, and it seemed like Bolin had a purpose. He was angry, he was enraged, felt he's been overlooked and underappreciated in his tenure in the International Wrestling Cartel. Hell, Bolin has been a major champion in some of the biggest independent promotions around. But He's yet to reach that pinnacle in IWC. You say Bolin was angry, you think he was upset. And that's by Bolin's standards. Yeah. Bolin chose that event to make a statement. The problem is, so did one other guy. And we'll see him in just a second. But Bolin has clearly come to fight. This will not be a wrestling match. This will be ugly. by a number of injuries last year, but after an extended hiatus, recharging those batteries, getting back in the gym, getting bigger and more imposing than ever, Jimmy Vegas came back with uh, a clear intention to create a list of victims. And Bolin happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'll tell you what, I would normally say that Bolin is the biggest, the baddest, one of the most dangerous men in IWC. But then you look at the man across the ring from him. Oh! And for the second time, that door uses an offensive weapon. And wait a second, we're outside the cage. Bullen in Vegas. The cage can't contain the hostility. This match has started. Or I'm not sure if the match has started, but the fight started. That's I've, for sure. I, def I heard the, the opening bell, so I think this contest is underway. I mean, legally, it can't really start or end until we're in the ring, but tell that to these two guys. I was gonna say, I don't think legality has anything to do with these guys. No. And we saw Bolin in action in Meadville against the Monster Abyss, six foot eight, 350 pounder. So Bolin is uh, no stranger to facing the biggest and the best. It took, what, four choke slams and a power bomb through a table. To oh keep, my goodness! To keep Bolin down. And even then, just barely, Bolin was just absolutely unstoppable. It's like he was feeling no pain. That's the mood he'll have to be in here tonight to survive Jimmy Vegas. Well, you remember in that contest, the monster abyss tried to put him through that table, and it would not give. Bolin's body bounced off that leg. was bouncing off concrete, and Bolin would not stay down. Once, twice, three times, four times and a power bomb even. And even then, John Bolin was still ready to fight. Fighting off the security and the, oh! Fighting off the security, the people who were trying to help him get to the back. Oh my God, you, you can just, just hear the impact, the thugs, the grunts of these strikes. All in the back of this building as, as Bolin takes the steel. And I Vegas, Vegas towering. Towering over Bolin, he's got the height advantage, but I think these guys might be just as strong as each other. Yeah, maybe a, a safe uh, assessment. Bolin still holds a few powerlifting records from his uh, days prior to wrestling, I do believe. Vegas, I'm not sure if, if, if 
there's anybody in IWC history other than possibly Bull, and you can compare it to Jimmy Vegas, who, who just looks bigger and, and thicker and angrier than ever before. Bowling put both thumbs in Vegas' eyes. That would make you the only way that you can... Bowling's asking the, the crowd if they want to see some violence. I think they'd love to see some violence perpetrated onto Boland, but not the case at the moment. And so, neither of these guys has made any effort. Oh, Boland mocking Jimmy Vegas. Yeah, what, no effort to get in the cage? No effort to win? No effort to, I mean, there's, uh, and the referee has made no effort to get these guys into the cage either. He's content to just let him go. Well, all the referee can do is just politely suggest at this point. Yeah, polite suggestions don't work with these guys. And, and even that may be crossing the line. And now Vegas. Vegas got the door open. We might see this thing actually enter the ring. Yeah. He wants it in his own personal playground. He wants it inside the cage, but Vegas not coming alone. He's brought that axe handle. Trash can lid, kendo stick. A little bit of everything. Is that a tennis racket? I know a guy that carried one of those once. I heard he was one of your customers. And now Vegas with the trash can. That's seen better days. I think Vegas is warming up with it. This is going to get ugly. I hope that cage was reinforced! All together, this is over 500 pounds of mass in this ring doing battle. And that's not even counting the weapons that were thrown in there. Vegas has been impenetrable since coming back to IWC. And maybe the only man who could have gotten in the way of Bolin. Remember Bolin just choking the life out of Shane in your face. Back at that event, Vegas may have saved uh, Shane's career from Bolin that night. Absolutely. Bolin had had ill intentions in mind, but was not expecting Jimmy Vegas. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Bolin was not going to let up. Bolin has taken years' worth of anger out on anybody that, that steps in his path. Have you seen the way that the cage has rocked and recoiled when these guys are hitting it? Two of the biggest bodies in IWC. Yeah, you can only imagine how these men's anatomies are reacting. I don't think he's going to give Bolin a seat. Well, Bolin the worst for wear. He does give Bolin a seat. And a knuckle sandwich to go with it. Yeah. Oh! oh. oh. Vegas hits face first. So Bolin got his hand through Jimmy Vegas into that steel chair. Even more speed, even more impact. Uh, that chair did not give an inch. Vegas' face and head absorbs all the impact. Kendo stick. Batter up! God. Check out the intensity of Bolin. Oh, it's made of stiff bamboo, and Bolin just broke it across his knee like it was nothing. Bolin, I mean, bamboo is stronger than steel, and now there are those sharp splinters littering the inside of the ring. Yeah! Yeah! Well, Bolin says welcome to Wimbledon. Whether it's Wimbledon or Louisville or anywhere in between. Can you imagine him at a country club? Oh. Ow! Even um, a tennis pun, but we'll go yeah. on. Two and no. I can't tell from my angle. Is, is Bolin cut? Five minutes gone by. Five minutes gone by. Look at Bolin's left arm. I believe it might be lacerated. Uh, we'll, we'll follow that story as a uh, precious on as Bolin, just like he did with Shane and Elizabeth. Look at it. Just choke Vegas into unconsciousness. Yeah, indeed. you're right. I see the blood. Indeed, his arm is lacerated. Get right around the forearm. And Bolin doesn't even seem to care. Too busy mocking and taunting Vegas. Bolin having fun, 
Bolin could be missing an arm, he probably wouldn't notice at this point. Bolin dominating arguably the most dominant athlete physically in IWC history. Two-time heavyweight champion, a legend in IWC. And Bolin may be about to read him his final. They just Googled him. Choke slam! Oh. It couldn't keep him down in Meadville, can it tonight? No. He's going to need about a half dozen more. From Abyss to Vegas, Bolin has survived. I don't think Vegas expected Bolin to survive. But oh, now he's got that axe handle. Vegas came back wielding that axe handle, looking for victims. He hits him with that. Some of our fans might be going home with a souvenir. Oh, low blow. Perfectly legal inside a cage. As legal as a wrist lock. As the referee administers a count, as far as I understand, count outs are, are not a way for this matchup to end. It's pitfall or submission. Well, neither men can continue, I guess. I mean, but hey, these guys are not about to stay down, especially not at this point. Bolin is bleeding. Vegas is battered, but still they press on. Big right hand. And another one. And straight fist to cuffs. Vegas may have a slight, I understate, slight advantage, but Bolin with a knee. Goes downstairs. Oh, sternum first. The ring and the cage shook. And a second time, Bolin sternum, it's hard. Can you imagine that impact? Vegas has beaten everybody from Tommy Dreamer to CM Punk. And pull a spear. Picture perfect spear. Dead center of the ring. Bull with an impressive resume all his own. He's got the cover. I don't know. And Bull and frustrated. The longer this matchup goes, though, the more advantage I give to Bolin. He's carrying less body weight. If it becomes a battle of endurance, it could be John Bolin's match to win. Less body weight and more hatred. What's he doing? Well, I think it's pretty apparent what he's doing. The turnbuckle pad is taken away, exposed as the steel bolt that holds this ring together, and now Bolin with a thick steel chain. He's wrapping it around the turnbuckle. Yeah, the steel bolt wasn't enough. Bolin gonna add more pain, blues, and agony. And clearly he intends to send Vegas' head straight into that part of the ring. Now Bolin knows so many ways to hurt people, but he can do some sick, sick things with that steel chain. But is Bolin taking too much time? Vegas is prone, Vegas is down, but Vegas is dazed. Vegas is woozy. And now Bolin. Super no fight. way, no way. What? Wait, it's like Cradle. Cradle. Oh! oh Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, Jimmy Vegas. CJ Sensation better get out of that ring. I don't know if uh, Jimmy Vegas was lucky or good. Either way, he caught Bolin with an inside Cradle. That official better head to the hills. Hey, Bolin had this matchup won. Bolin at Vegas motionless. I said it was Bolin's match to win. Maybe, just maybe, it was also Bolin's match to lose. You know what? We saw a two-time heavyweight champion. We saw trash can lids. We saw steel chairs. We saw axe handles. But it was a wrestling maneuver that earned him the victory. Yeah, Bolin was ready for a fight, but I'm not sure he was ready for that kind of technique. And I don't think Bolin is done. I'm not sure what Vegas has left, if anything. Oh yeah, add, add a little bit more to that turnbuckle. Well yeah, Bolin still has a plan in mind, lest he be interrupted by the match end. I don't think Bolin cares that it's over. Oh, I don't think, I don't know if He's Vegas... gonna finish Vegas' career! Look at this! Go Bolin up and over. Oh no. Ah! Vegas 
Vegas puts the exclamation point on his victory. Vegas has left Clearfield in ruins and may have left the better parts of John Bowen's brains all over that steel chair. I'm not sure this is the last we've heard of John Bowen, though, when it comes to Jimmy Vegas. When Bowen wakes up, he's going to be pretty ticked off, and anybody within a about a mile radius of him is not safe. But Jimmy Vegas is your victor here at Cage Combat 2 in Clearfield. Mr. LaRusso, thank you for joining us. For Chris LaRusso, Mick Lendl, I am Joe Dombrowski, IWCWrestling.com. For next release, indie rest, IndieWrestling.us. For the digital downloads, the DVDs, courtesy of SoulCrackCon Media. Thank you. Good night from Clearfield. And I beat Andrew Palace. <laughs>